Hey, it's all with your hot fixes and reminders for week 19 of Shadowlands. One more, and you get yourself a free smoothie. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for regular reminders, guides, commentary, and all things Warcraft. First off, some huge hotfixes. You can now hold an unlimited amount of soul ash. That's massive. Okay, it's not. It's terrific for people who dutifully run Torghast each and every week, but might not have the gold to make a rank 4. To that, I would suggest a basic gold guide. I linked one in the video description and in the top right corner right there. But it's nice being able to hoard ash for a rainy day. The big hotfix covers tanks. Tanks, with the exception of Demon Hunters, now take 10% less damage from all sources. This is meant to balance a bug that caused Demon Hunters to take less damage than intended. So for Demon Hunters, while they're going to take 10% more damage from magic, they're going to take 5% less physical damage, which is the majority of most damage taken anyway. Overall, this should feel great for the remainder of the season at least, but we'll see what happens next season, when future content may be tailored towards this sort of mitigation. This week's boss is Mortanis, the son of Lord Merigar, over in Revendreth. Rogues, warriors, and monks, come on down for some legendary memories, and as for the rest of you, for that sweet, sweet anima. Just don't be like me, and forget to pick up your weekly anima quest, and, well, I make these freaking guides. The weekly events this week include the pet battles and the classic Ashran brawl, probably your only regular chance of completing the additional Ashran quests inside the battleground. Stay there for as long as you like or as little as you need to, that's what makes this particular brawl great. The seasonal valor cap has been raised to 7,250, so it's all up for grabs between Covenant Callings and Mythic Plus World. This week's affixes are Fortified, Sanguine, and Quaking. Wait a minute, Fortified and Sanguine? <sighs> you know, I remember one time in the other side, we were pulling a big pack on the big ring, and I pull all the things, and I tell the Night Fae person, all right, man, let's do this, hit the pot. And he, and you know, he hits the pot, and we all pop cooldowns, we pop everything, and it's awesome, and like stuff is dying inside Sanguine. And we had no not back, so we killed like actually two things and everything else healed. Fuck. Yeah, doing this affix with no not backs in Night Fade dungeons really sucks. I swear, if I get the other side, I'm gonna look the other way. You're welcome. That's how hard I tried with that joke. Finally, in Covenant Land, it's going to be around this time that many players who've worked at restoring their Covenant Sanctum will be done. Everything upgraded, yes! And with that done, we can finally start playing the game. That's gonna be it for this week, and thanks for letting me steal you away for a few minutes. You can help me out by liking the video and sharing it with others through Facebook or Discord or, or telling random strangers. No, don't do that. I'll see you next time, folks. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Mm -hmm.